Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Acacia Courtney. We have a great eight race card today, and hopefully you're trying to beat the expert. It's a little bit cloudy on this Friday afternoon, so let's check out the track and weather conditions. The track is listed as sealed, and the turf is good to start the day. Race number one is a mile and a 16th on the turf, a maiden claiming with a purse of $25,000 for three-year-olds and up. There are seven runners heading to the gate. Racing at Gulfstream. Last in, first out. Here comes the boom, the first out toward the rail. Here's Jakala moving to challenge. Away racing in third is UR Flatter. Wide on the course is the gray Sobe Jr. Just to his inside goes clearly a demon while trying to work into the clear. UR Flatter is behind the speed with Ariba Causeway. And up on the yacht side goes Stardust Moon as they run around the first turn. Jakala has inside position and a narrow lead. Three wide is Sobe Jr. Here comes the boom between horses. Racing off the speed from fourth is UR Flatter. Then comes clearly a demon. Stardust Moon is second last, and the trailer is Ariba Causeway. But they're not uh, far behind here. They're only about four and a half from first to last as they run into the back stretch. It's Jakala with inside position through an opening quarter in 24 and three. Right alongside, here comes Daboom second. Sobe Jr. is now racing in third. UR Flatter is fourth from clearly a demon in Ariba Causeway. And wide and last is Stardust Moon. Inside half a mile from home, the opening half mile went in 49 seconds flat. Jakala continues to lead here. Here comes Daboom narrowly. Three wide is Sobe Jr. Then you are flatter and clearly a demon, followed inside by Ariba Causeway. And Stardust Moon is last of all and six lengths off the lead as they round the far turn. Jakala is still confidently handled and still in front. From second, here comes Daboom, who's working a bit harder now. Three wide, Sobe Jr. From the rail and fourth is you are flatter, tipping off the fence now as you are flatter, muscling off the fence three wide. Then back to clearly a demon after three quarters and 113 flat. Jakala now shaken up for the drive here by. Cornelio Velasquez and is moving away. Shifting ground but well clear. Jacala's in front. Toward the outside you are flatter with here comes Daboom and clearly a demon. In the first of the day it's all Jacala coast to coast by three and a half. Second was here comes Daboom in front of clearly a demon then you are flatter and Sobe Jr. in 142 and four. No one was catching number one Jacala who wins the opener with Cornelio Velasquez aboard trained by Angel A. Pena Jr. and owned by Mark Keller. The second race today is six and a half furlongs on the main track, a claiming race with a purse of $18,000 for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races or three-year-olds. There are no scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're off. From the center, Bob Bucati begins nicely. Up on the outside, here's Valid Dude up to take over. In between horses goes on his fight. Away and forth is Carapano. Then Bonnie Boy Hunter and Nook. And the early trailer is Mass Approval. Separated by four and a half as they run down the back stretch and taking over the lead is Honest Fight and Eduardo Nunez. They lead it by a half. Nook is rushing between horses to be a joint second alongside Valid Dude. Bocati down toward the inside. Carapano's in tight and trying to find clear passage. Out wide is Bonnie Boy Hunter. The gray is within the three of the lead and Mass Approval is the trailer. They run into the far turn now, and on the outside, here's Nook turning up the pressure on the leader on his fight. Carapano works into the clear for Olivero from third. Then fourth inside is Bocati. Bonnie Boy Hunter is next. Valadude is called it an afternoon, passed by mass approval as they now move to the top of the stretch. Carapano looking like he has his mind on business again today. He runs to the top of the stretch, taking over from Honest Fight, who's back to second. Bocati working off the fence. Then Bonnie Boy Hunter and mass approval. They move to the top of the stretch after a 48 and one half mile. Carapano Pano shaken up for the drive with the lead. Honest Fight comes back for more from second than Bocati in mass approval. Final furlong, Carol Pano has the lead. Honest Fight is fighting as hard as he can, but he can't match strides with a razor-sharp winner, Carol Pano for three in a row. Honest Fight second, Bocati third, mass approval fourth, Nook fifth, 120 flat. Number four, Carol Pano gets his third win in a row. Carlos Olivero in the saddle, trained by Rodolfo Garcia and owned by Caroni Stable. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back in a moment.
Race number three is five furlongs on the main track, a maiden race for $40,000 for the state bred two-year-olds. Please note that the track is now listed as sloppy. And they're off. Toward the inside, Cinderella L. Chrome gets the first call. mugs -O matic comes away in second, and here's Wait moving up. Wait will land second. mugs -O matic third, then Sherp on the outside. They're followed by One-Eyed Jet, followed in next, uh, about two lengths left behind them is Legacy Azteca. The two at the back are zipping and in some fun. Zipping along up top is Cinderella L. Chrome by a length and a quarter. Racing second is Wait from the outside, Sherp a third. One-Eyed Jet rides the rail from fourth. Trying to move from the back is in some fun. mugs -O matic needing to do better than that followed outside by zipping and trailing his legacy as Tekka. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Cinderella L. Chrome, confidently handled by Eddie Castro, turns first on a two-length lead. Wait tries to get after him second, then to the outside, Sherpa third. Late run from in some fun down the center. Final furlong, Cinderella L. Chrome, still confidently handled and still well clear. It will be Cinderella L. Chrome with a stylish debut. Castro never moved an inch, wrapped up and four in front. Second is Wait. Zipping got third from Sherpa fourth and mugs matic fifth in 59 and two. Number two, Cinderella El Chrome wins the third race. Eddie Castro in the saddle, trained by Marcial Navarro and owned by Brenda Tabreau. Race number four is off the turf. It will be seven furlongs on the main track, a claiming race with a purse of $24,000 for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races or three-year-olds. Please note that the four Our Cat Daddy will be ridden by Christian Navarro. And they're up. Our Cat Daddy bobbled and is last away. From the outside, Whites of Their Eyes wins the start alongside Candy Jam and Vea. Union Val comes away racing in fourth from Mansion House, who's down toward the inside fifth. Then it's Master Jordan the Gray. Our Cat Daddy recovers after the subpar beginning to race second last, and the early trailer, Mystic Sky. Down the back stretch they go. Vea now secures the lead here. Leads it by a length and a half over Candy Jam in second. Whites of Their Eyes is third. Union Vow is fourth. And our Cat Daddy, who's now in the clear fifth. Shuffling back is Mansion House. Mystic Sky improves between horses. And Master Jordan is last with half a mile to go. 23 seconds for the opening quarter. They run around the far turn. Vea has the lead. Whites of Their Eyes is second. Candy Jam is in touch from third. Stretch of three to Mystic Sky. Our Cat Daddy not firing his best shot. Union Vow has a rail run three better than mansion house he's also not firing his best uh, offering here and the trailer is master jordan as they run to the top of the stretch 46 and one for the opening half mile the leader is vea by a length and a quarter from the outside mystic sky has made steady progress and mystic sky sky is a danger on the outside whites of their eyes emerges between horses with 3 16ths to go vea has the lead whites of their eyes to the attack is second mystic sky flattening out a bit third in deep stretch whites of their eyes now has vea in his sights and whites of their eyes is the winner. Vea second, third Mystic Sky, then Union Val and Candy Jam at 124 and 3. Number seven, Whites of Their Eyes, gets the win with Jesus Rios in the saddle, trained by Terry Pompey and owned by Brett McClellan, Nick of Time Stable, and Barry Berkelhammer. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back after these words. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Race number five is five furlongs on the main track, a maiden special weight with a purse of $55,000 for the two-year-old Phillies. And they're off. 
Milber was off slowly and then checked back in a step slow to start with Sierra Love. It was a quick start for the favorite, Threat, who fires out to take the lead. Company coming, though, with Cajun Delta Dunn on the outside. These two go hot and heavy early, and they move three lengths better than the team of Cali, California, and Mia. A stretch of another two and a half to Joyful Noise, then Sierra Love, and Milbra is the trailer as they run around the far turn. Threat on the inside, Cajun Delta Dawn takes it to her on the outside. They're in lockstep past the 5 sixteenths, and four better than Mia third. Joyful Noise asked to quicken, but is responding fourth and four lengths off the pace. Then comes Cali, California, three in advance of Sierra Love as they run to the top of the stretch. On the inside, it's threat to the outside, Cajun Delta Dawn, but here comes Mia now. And Mia set down driving and taking over the lead. Cajun Delta Dawn tries to fight on second. Cali, California is next. Final furlong, Mia not home yet as Cajun down Delta Dawn is coming back. Mia or Cajun Delta Dawn, Cajun Delta Dawn. Game and victory. Mia second, Cali, California third in a minute and one. Number eight, Cajun Delta Dawn wins the fifth race with Juan Leva in the irons, trained by David Fox and owned by Curtis Mickelson. The six race is six furlongs on the main track, a starter optional claiming with a purse of $18,000 for three-year-olds and up. Scratch the number two, pass key. All set, and they're off. Missing the start completely was Purple Smoke, four lengths last. Prague wins the break, moving up to him in the early stages is Pay Any Price, and they hook up early. Down to the inside, it's Off Duty, who's away racing in third. Good Boy Charlie splits horses to be fourth, followed by Harry He and Point Made, and after a subpar beginning, Purple Smoke is last as they run down the backstretch. There's half a mile to run in the race, Pay Any Price on the outside, Prague on the inside. They're paying a stiff price up front. They've opened two on Harry He, who runs up to third. Good Boy Charlie is fourth, then Off Duty and Point Made. Purple Smoke is still last, and Pay Any Price is still first pay any price to the top of the stretch three parts in front Prague they need to do better from second Harry he warms to the task for Rios third only a length and a half off the lead it's a stretch of three to good boy Charlie and point made then comes off duty as they run to the top of the stretch quarter of a mile left to go pay any price will have to deal with Harry he is under a full head of steam and Harry he just took the lead into the clear good boy Charlie has a shot and point made over the top up the inside renewed energy from Prague final furlong now the leader was good boy Charlie point Point made on the outside, off duty, that ducks to the inside for a late run, but good boy Charlie has the lead, good boy Charlie the winner. Harry He second, off duty third, then point made and Prague in 111 and three. Number three, good boy Charlie wins the sixth race. Elvis Trujillo was aboard, trained by Donna Green Hurtak and owned by Dennis Punches and Daniel Hurtak. Let's take a quick break, we'll be back in a moment. Official Belmont Stakes watch party is at Gulf Street Park. Saturday, June 11th, enjoy a full day of live racing, great food and drink specials at South Florida's premier entertainment destination. Get here early to watch and wager on the ultimate test of champions, the Belmont Stakes. Saturday, June 11th, watch live world-class thoroughbred racing and the Belmont Stakes at America's number one track. Welcome to your playground, Gulf Street Park. Race number seven is five furlongs on the main track, a maiden race with a purse of $55,000 for the two-year-olds. There'll be seven runners heading to the gate. And they're up. First timer was away well. Three rules with homeboy Caden, an awesome standard from down toward the inside. Homeboy Caden will land in front. Three moo rules is moving with him in the early stages from awesome standard in third. Now moving up is Hidden Journey. He's the one between horses, three behind. It's a stretch of four to a gift from Haven, and Guinevere is last. 
They run around the far turn, the, first, the top two in the betting, or the top two on the far turn. And on the outside, Three Rules now takes the lead from homeboy Caden, who's back to second. Hidden Journey is third with four lengths to raise, two better than an improving. He's the one. And it's a gap back to Guanavero, who tries to come on from the back as they run past the quarter pole. Three Rules confidently handled and three on top. Homeboy Caden is second. Hidden Journey on the outside. Guanavera continues to close ground from the back with three sixteenths left to go. The leader is Three Rules. Three Rules is in front and in front by. 4-5. Hidden Journey in Guanavera second and third. Back forth as he's the one. It's three rules indeed by three and a half. Second Guanavera, third was Hidden Journey. Fourth was he's the one and awesome standard to complete the super high five in 58 and two. Number three, three rules proves to be much the best giving jockey Cornelio Velasquez his second win today. Trained by Jose Pinchon and owned by Shade Tree Thoroughbreds. Race number eight and the final one today is off the turf. It's five furlongs, a claiming race with a purse of $16,000 for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the three, Canarsie Kid, and the five, Radamel. And note that the nine, It's Robin, will be ridden by Miguel Vasquez. And runners away. Curlin's gem was off a step slow, but the other favorite, Time Out of Mind, blasts out of the gate and opens two lengths in a hurry from El Senor de los Cielos, who's away racing second. Third belongs to Sfetic with its Robin on his outside. Riding the rail next goes Chevron Light. Second last, Curlin's gem, and the trailer is burning wild. They're separated by six lengths as they run to the three furlong point. Time Out of Mind leads it by a half a length. El Senor de los Cielos is second. Two and a half lengths to its Robin, third at the five sixteenths. Riding the rail from fourth is Chevron on light burning wild tries to follow him Curlin's gem plotting a wide course and Svetic drops back last as they run to the top of the stretch 23 seconds for the opening quarter speed here's El Senor de los Cielos to take over from time out of mind second Curlin's gem down the outside begins to hit his best stride and burning wild with an inside lane through the final furlong El Senor de los Cielos works with a length and a half lead Curlin's gem rolling here's Curlin's gem it's a photo finish Really too close to call. Curlin's gem surged right on the money at El Senor de los Cielos. It came to the wire too close to call in 59 and 2. Number 8, Curlin's gem gets the head bob with Christian Navarro in the saddle, trained by Marty Wolfson and owned by Martin Cherry. In the late pick 5, 5 of 5 paid $1,254.70. 4 of 5 paid $18.10. Super High Five combination 87614 paid $588.10. In the pick six, six of six paid $2,869.18. There's a carryover into tomorrow of $3,418.44. That's it for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Hope you're here celebrating the Belmont Stakes with us, third jewel of the Triple Crown. And we have 11 races here on the card at Gulfstream Park, post time at 1.15. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack. I'm so tired.